Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back with another review. And today, we're taking a look at something. Surprise, it's not a Rise of the Beast figure. We're going back to Earthspark to complete the Wave 1 uh, Warrior Class figures. This is Megatron. Now, maybe some of you can help me out. Was Megatron released um, with Prime and Alita 1? Because... Prime and Alita 1 came in stock on Amazon. Megatron did it. Then I saw Megatron on and off for maybe a week, and then that was it for a few months up until very recently, where it looks like everybody else has gotten Megatron. So was there a delay in Megatron's release? Was I wrong that Amazon uh, didn't have it initially, and that now they've gotten a full stock? I don't know. All I can tell you is, without having the Deluxe Megatron in hand, I'm quite happy with this version. Um, although there are some issues that I'm just going to chalk up to the quality of the plastic in terms of the transformation. So, as we all know, uh, Megatron is this like um, VTOL plane type of design now. Because, you know, can't be a gun, can't be a tank. Propellers do spin. And if, you, and if you hit him right, you can get a good good spin going. Uh, Megatron does come with his fusion cannon, which pegs into the top here, does not split in half like on the uh, Deluxe. It also has a weapon gimmick where if you turn this gray knob here, a sword blade pops out that looks very, very similar to the sword that the orig original G1 Megatron came with. From the which was from the Takara Gun Robo line, so you just fold that back up, just like so. And pop that off to the side. There's the figure. And yep, there is a little bit of hollowness, but I do appreciate the work that they put into uh, the torso. And my one little complaint is that cockpit piece likes to pop up and swing around, but it usually stays in place. And, I do like that you can push on the rear to help get it out. So, how about we just get into the transformation? Um, start things off. Let's uh, come up to these side panels here. And this is my first issue point. Um, there are tabs here that are meant to peg into the slot there where the mushroom peg and the ball joint sit. It really doesn't work that way. Um, I mean, I've had to sit there trying to just muscle them in, and they, that just really wants to sit in position. I don't think if you, if you don't pay them in, you're not really going to notice. Uh, so move those out of the way, and then split the legs. Now you're going to pull up here on the feet, and the feet, they tab into uh, tabs right there on the uh, back. And looking at the bottom of the foot, let me flip it up a little you would think it's this slot right here it's actually that second slot that you want to um, uh, tab uh, the the legs into the foot into that second slot goes into that tab so just rotate the legs out and if you and just so we're clear the foot also tabs into the underside here uh, there's a tab right there and you can kind of see it that fits into a groove there in the heel so you can then of course bring these side panels down so that they're that the they're facing just like that rotate it around at the waist so they're now the what i assume were missiles are facing forward and we can begin to work on the arms um, open up the propellers here um, they, as you can see, they have tabs, and much like those tabs on the hip skirts, they peg into the slots there um, on the forearm, so that is nice. Uh, you can rotate the arm forward and then straighten it out, all, and it's all done on the ball joint at the elbow. Now, my second issue of uh, concern when it comes to the transformation is closing up this panel piece. But before we get to that, let's deal with the uh, 
cockpit here. So just slide it out, rotate it down, push it back in. That reveals Megatron's face. Now this piece, as you just saw, can, you know it does tab in. The tab is on this side, so you basically want to bring this arm up first, and then bring this arm over it. And you kind of have to finagle a little and massage to get it to hook in properly. Uh, just because it doesn't always want to do it. It's kind of hard to see. I think maybe if it was a, a little bit... There we go. I got it. If it was designed a little touch better, that would work. So you're going to split that open, bring the arms down, and then... On these double hinge, the uh, shoulders are on double hinges. Just go ahead and bring them down, just like so. All right. Okay. Yeah. I think they're supposed to go up, like oh yeah, like that. Oh boy. I actually don't have the instructions handy and. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure they go like that, because if they go like, oh, well, they could go like this. Uh, but you know what? They then run into the panel there. Well, you know what? It's your toy. I think this looks a little bit better, but then you know what? You have that tab hitting. So and I do feel it like sort of frictioning in like that. But either way, there's Megatron in its robot mode. Go ahead, bring the uh, fusion cannon in. That'll peg into the arm. And what we do end up with is a very nicely articulated Megatron. Do you have waist articulation? You have a ball joint here at the shoulder. Unfortunately, this arm is a little loose, so when you go to raise the gun, it kind of wants to flop down. Uh, I think if you rotate it this way with the forearm up, that helps a little. Ball joint at the hips, and don't forget these are on ball joints too, so they can move out of the way. Nice knee bend. And then the feet, they do they have ball joints, so there is some ankle pivot there, as well as a hinge. Well, I thought it was, you know, I th thought it was a hinge there in the foot, but I think that's just holding it in place, and that the pivot really comes from the ball joint in the foot. And of course, don't forget, you do have the weapon feature. So you can just go ahead and now, you know, Megatron's a real cut up. I'll be honest, I have not been following uh, Earthspark and really not interested in continuing to do so. The show just doesn't appeal to me. Um, but as we all should know by now, at least by watching the pilot, Megatron is a good guy. Um I don't know if that's going to change. I don't know if this is part of some ul ulterior plot. But that's what he is. So I think it's time to pause. And we will come back with my... Out of the three warriors we've taken a look at, I have to say I think Megatron is the best. Uh, the transformation really isn't that bad. Um, it, it's not as fiddly as Alita 1. I don't have the fear of breakage like I kind of did with Optimus Prime. And I think the overall robot looks kind of cool. I mean, it's a new look for Megatron, which is something we've been getting often in these tran these uh, Transformers animated uh, series lines. Just because, again, you know, can't keep doing a tank. Can't do a gun. So... This one, I think it's nice that it draws from uh, Megatron's Earth mode from Transformers Animated, since that was a VTOL helicopter type thing, um, jet thing. I, 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 the name of it is like on the tip of my tongue, but I'm going to say Warthog, but I'm not sure. But it also gives it a nice futuristic spin. Now, as I said at the beginning, I got this figure off of Amazon. But I do believe they are showing up at retail right now. It would, it's kind of hard to tell since everyone is focused more on the Rise of the Beast product. So while you're out there picking up your weaponizers and beast armor figures, give Megatron a shot. 
I think you'll be quite happy with how it ends up. So that's about it for the review. If you like this review, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. While I will always appreciate the views, your likes, comments, and subscriptions help to communicate to YouTube through their algorithms that my channel should be exalted and held upon high. If you want to make the ultimate sign of support, I do have a Patreon. It is www.patreon.com slash chuckdog1999. All I ask for is a dollar a month or $12 a year. No thrills, no tears, no special rewards. All you're doing is helping me help you to help me help you bring figures like Megatron to you as well as keeping up the infrastructure of the channel. But as I always say, I know times are tough. We're in a bit of a period of inflation. So if you can't spend the dollar a month or $12 a year, your views are more than thanks enough. Patreon is a cherry on top of an already generous Sunday. That's about it for the review. Uh, this is your old pal Chuck. For Megatron, we will see you next time.